Okay, we have the head here now, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this stuff off of it for uh, the machine shop, make it a little bit easier for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here EGR assembly off. We've got three fasteners here. We've got one here is the E12. We have two here, and those are E14s. I've already broken the uh, bolts loose, so we're going to go ahead and just take them on out. Okay, now to break the seal, once you get the fasteners out, just kind of tap on it. And there it is right there. Okay. Next thing I'm going to take off is these engine support brackets. There's one right over here. There's one catacornered on the other side. This is an E10 fastener right here. here as I mentioned. So let's go ahead and get him off. Yeah. And as you can see the two brackets are the same. Okay what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the thermostat housing. It's two fasteners and it is a E10 on those. Fasteners are the same. Give you a shot of that. It's got to look like a little O-ring type gasket in here. Next thing we're going to move is this here coolant assembly housing here. This again is E10. I've had all, all the parts are in now. So uh, I'm going to haul this off to the machine shop tomorrow, and I've taken all this stuff off. It, you know, he needs it out of his way here. He's going to do a little machining on it, probably five or six thousand. So he's going to take off the deck. Also, going to do the valve job, valve seats. I mean, valve seals. Hopefully, the valve seats will be okay. Okay, uh, bolts are the same length. Give you the back side of it. Again, you can see there's a type of O-ring gasket there. Okay. Well, let's lighten it on up a little bit. You can get a shot now, see now what it looks like with everything off. Okay. okay, and the next shot. You'll see the head assembled and we'll get ready to put it back together. Y'all guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later.